Hello there. What's going on my fellow brown coats? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Ellie Moses, your 22 year old law and film shit and he from Sydney, Australia shooting his shot, baby. One day, one day we will get that in. We are still scoreless on our intros, but yeah, we are here to continue our journey with Firefly today. We are up to episode 12 titled The Message. I am going to waste no more time. You're here for the reaction. I am here to watch it for the first time. Let's see what's in store for us. I'm super excited. And yeah, let's smash this thing out. Let's go. You know what the sad thing is? Um, just before, I don't want to miss out on anything. You know what the sad thing is? Usually at this point of, um, a wait and show, Buffy or Angel, which is what I've watched. Usually at this point, episode 12, I'd be saying in my intro, we are just over halfway of the, uh, of the season. And sadly with this, no, we've only got three episodes left and the movie. And I believe those episodes you guys were saying that led up to the movie and I'll react to those as well. Um, it is sad because it makes you think what could have been. What could have been? Um, even if we had just a full season of this, a full 22 episode season, um, what could have been? Let alone a season two, a season three, a season four, a season five, a season six or seven like we have with Buffy. So yeah, it is sad, but you know what? We enjoy what we have. And a mouthful of bits. <laughs> I really know how to show a girl a just in time. What a date night. Oh, a God. cow fetus. <laughs> Poor little thing, never even saw a light of day. Now, what's in show business? You manage to find the bright side of every single thing. Also, we've got this booth to ourselves for five whole minutes. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I'm scored. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more good stuff about me. Uh, well, you're, uh, genius when it comes to machines you always say what you mean and not what you think yeah eyes yeah <laughs> i don't um, know <laughs> i don't know how to um <laughs> oh plus every other girl i know is either married professional or closely related to me so you're more or less you're you know literally the only girl in the world my guy choked. Mm, that's a hell of a thing to say. I was joking. Oh, no, no, I get it. I do. Back on Osiris, you probably had nurses and debutantes crawling all over you. But down here at the bottom of the barrel, it's just me. No, that's, that's, that's not even... I'm glad I, I rated higher than dead Bessie here. I, I hope... Matt! Listen, she gave you the open three shot she had the whole five players from the other team marking her and she gave you the open three and you no forget about the open three she handed you an open layup an open one and you've missed simon my dude i was about to say this is gonna be mean that situation with a girl for the first time i'll be like yeah i'm a bit nervous but i'll pull through Simon, you didn't pull through. That's the... Oh, man. How are you going to disappoint Kaylee in that moment? She literally laid you up, man. You choked. You choked. Oh, my God. It's grotesque. Oh, there was something in a jar. Well, they didn't have five minutes. Scare away again, did you? This may come as a shock, but I'm actually not very good at, at talking to girls. <laughs> Why? Is there someone you are good at talking to? Do not fear me. Ours is a peaceful race, and we must live in harmony. Check out again, did you? It's like something out of a fable. Are you packing this for me? I don't know yet. Food is problematic. <laughs> Can't even figure out how to eat ice without it. You get everything? Yeah. We're gonna add no route for the blunder, but we're out of pretty good. Got a good discount on account of my intimidating manner. <laughs> so, do aliens live among us? Yeah, one of them's a doctor. Oh, boy. oh man. You are well, <clears throat> that you get this soon in your travels. Travels. Did you order any equipment? Thank no, you sir. for the credits you forwarded. They have helped as many. Forwarded. <laughs> I made use of and 
one. Ooh, close. And close to keep you warm in your travels. <laughs> Hope to hear from you soon. Love your mother. <laughs> How's it sit? Pretty cunning, don't you think? I think it's the sweetest hat ever. Sam walks down the street in that hat, and people know he's not afraid of anything. Damn straight. His mother must be a Weasley. Because she knitted that for him. <laughs> Hey, it's Knox. <laughs> What'd y'all order a dead guy for? <laughs> Another Whedon verse actor right there. Um, obviously Knox from Angel. Uh, it seems like he's entered another dimension now in the Firefly universe. Um, and I really enjoyed the opening um, right there in terms of a different location. Um, we sort of had uh, what reminded me, um, I know it came later, but it sort of reminded me of a Guardians of the Galaxy-like sort of marketplace where you had that to start, that wide shot, um, obviously, of this sort of space station, you know, with like the LED lighting boards, um, similar to like Times Square in New York. Um, and it reminded me of like one of those marketplaces in Guardians of the Galaxy, um, uh, you know, the planet um, or that space station Nowhere. Or even that sort of planet in Thor Ragnarok, the one they land on, um, or the one Thor lands on, um, with just a different uh, sort of color grading to it. You know, we don't have the desert browns. Um, this one has like a lot of neon lighting, um, and it's a nice change of, you know, uh, scenery for the show. And obviously, it seems like Mal and Zoe have had an anonymous, um, you know, uh, package delivered with a dead guy in it, or someone who seems to be dead. We'll see. Oh, looks like we're... Looks like Mal and Zoe's past might come back to haunt them. Oh, we! <laughs> hey. I didn't know you were out there. Sort of point. Stealth. You may have heard of it. I don't think they covered that in base. Well, at least they cover dropping your weapon so you can eat beans and get yourself shot. Yeah, I got a badge in that. Won't happen again. It does? I'm just gonna watch. Anything interesting out there? You don't mind my asking? About 30 troops behind those buildings. Mortars. No rulers yet. I had two scouts missing. I took them down. Well, I didn't hear a single thing. Don't you look bad at us getting here? They'll never let them know where you are. <laughs> the juxtaposition right there. <laughs> of course there are other schools of thought. <laughs> and I love <laughs> I just gotta pause right there. I love how she said there's uh, there's other schools of thought. It's just like <laughs> the first rule of battle. They let them know where you are and then it just you know, juxtaposition cut. Not even a cut, juxtaposition with the sound right there. And Mal just ultimately spraying, um, doing the Arnold Schwarzenegger right there from Predator, literally just firing aimlessly, sending Hail Marys. I'm over here, come kill me, do it now. Just like, come on, do it. Like, literally just, all right, that, that got me off guard. I'm not going to lie. That was funny. That was funny. And it's just like, because it's Mal, it makes it even more amusing because I'm just like, yeah, that's Mal. That's Mal. That's Mal having his moment and just unleashing hell with his bullets. <laughs> or <was> plasma. <laughs> they don't like it when you do that. I worked that out myself. Did you find Vitelli? Vitelli's out of it. Bumblebee laid down arms for the first time with inevitable crushing defeat. Can you imagine such a cowardly creature? This is bad, Sydney. It's bad. glorious. Come on, we gotta move. I can't. <laughs> I don't make any kind of sense. Zoe? I got nothing. That's definitely Casey. You know this guy? A warning of some kind? Listen, now, you gotta get something out of the station. No, 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 no. 
Human transport of a postal route is very, very illegal. If anyone even knows I took a corpse in, I'll lose my franchise. Well, who says it? I don't know. It was your return. How long has it been here? You're a week. That's why I waved it. This can't stay here. They don't smell. I know. I'm decently preserved. Taking them on board? We are. I don't know if I see the percentage in that. You might strain your brain trying. It might break something. What's going on? Did you get something fun? Oh man. She ain't reciprocating. Oh man. You are such a babe. Oh man, the signals. That is zero Wi Fi connection right there. <laughs> there is no How connection. We know he ain't plague ridden or some such. We know. I mean, I respect that you guys have a history, but what are you doing? If you want me to do a proper autopsy. Cut him up? I can see what's in it, Doctor. You know why? <laughs> what do you got? Hi, I guess. This is a message for Zoe and for Malcolm Reynolds. And I really hope you all are the ones listening to it. All that matters is I expect to be shuffled off and you trust me who I trust to get me where I'm going, which is home. But you are lying to my folks when you say no. We got the family plot there and my mom and dad, well, they deserve to know I died. You know, it's funny. We went to the war never looking to come back, but it's, it's the real world I couldn't survive. Now I need you to carry me just a little bit further. It's actually heartfelt, man. Tell my folks I wanted to do right by them and that I'm at peace and all. You know, you can't run anymore. You crawl when you can't do that. Well, yeah, you know the rest. Thanks, uh, both of you. Oh, yeah, and uh, make sure my eyes are still good. I swear, if he pulls Watch. a if he pulls a Nox and he's still Same alive. Thing, but a two-day ride, we burn out. That was heartfelt. I think everyone understands the situation. Malcolm Reynolds. Where do you suppose he's off to? He, he captained the Firefly. You, you should be able to capture him if you leave now. <laughs> Are you telling me to leave? <laughs> well, no, no, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Relax, you've been great. And I was just bluffing with that stuff about arresting you. I mean, who needs that kind of paperwork, skunk? Light him on fire. <laughs> Again, my guy came with that express oil spray right there. <laughs> I didn't expect Kaylee to be so rattled by this or interested in it or curious. I wonder what the cause of death was. Are you gonna read over me when I get taken down, Shepard? Oh, I suspect you'll be around. Telling oh, you he's alive. Oh, River senses something. What the hell are you doing? River, that might not be the best place. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I guess we do all have different reactions to death. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's death, man. There's something fishy. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> Oh, well, Colonel was dead drunk. Three hours pissing on about the enlisted men. Uh, they're scum. Uh, they're not fighters. And uh, and then he passed right out. <laughs> he nipped it right off his face. <laughs> <laughs> and you've never seen a man more proud of his mustache than Colonel Oberon. I mean, in all my life, I will never remember a day when this officer loved that lip fairy. <laughs> 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 
juicy thing. Oh, waxed yeah. up. Did he find out? Oh, next morning he wakes up, it's gone, and he is furious. <laughs> but he can't just say, you know, someone stole my mustache. <laughs> so he, uh... He's better than you. And, uh, <laughs> oh, he's eyeballing all the men, something fierce. Not a word. And he comes up to Tracy, and Tracy's wearing the Gorham thing on his face. <laughs> He glued it on. <laughs> He's staring the old man down wearing his own damn mustache. That's a violation. <laughs> oh. We hit. That's the other ship tracking them down. I reckon. They're behind us. Yeah. Fired over the port bow. Warning shot. They could have hit us. Right. Reinforcement. You are in possession of stolen goods and awarded to cut thrust and repair for docking. That was quick. Saffron tip from Long. <laughs> Saffron. Reynolds, I think there's been a mistake. There's been a lot of mistakes, Captain. The latest of which is you taking that crate. I will make you pay for your mistreatment. I will blow you to pieces. How you do that? Your precious crate gonna be in bitty shards. Now, I got deliveries to make, officer, so you just lock onto my trajectory and I'll take a look here, see if anything matches your description. <laughs> this procedure has changed since I was little. He goes back, you keep him occupied. What do I do? Shadow puppets? We'll take care of it. I don't get this. They're after Tracy? There's just something else in that box. Empty. Well, they want this body for something, and I'm guessing it ain't a proper burial. Autopsy. You have to cut open the body. There's probably something in it. Well, doctor, you are doing an autopsy. <laughs> there we go. There's going to be a bad boys 2 situation. The drugs are stuffed in the body. <laughs> Using corpses for smuggling is a time-honored repulsive custom. Show him respect. He's been open before. How's that? It's for work. Oh, he. He dead, dead. Sorry. Well, let's see what's in there. Could be it. I was about to say could be a cyborg, but no. My guy got the Lazarus treatment right there. That you were dead! Huh? Right. You know, I suppose that was. Hey there, Zoe. Private. <laughs> Am I calmer now? Yes, Sarge. <laughs> like, nothing's changed. <laughs> Sarge. Yeah? I think I'm connected. I think I'm mistakenly disoriented. Was it bifidin? It's a drug you took to make it appear as though you were dead. Remember what it was called? I never did that. The guy who sold it to me said I'd be under a week or so. He told me I wouldn't dream, but I did. I dreamt of my family. <laughs> what are you running from? Run to, not from. I just wanted to get home, that's all. That's all I ever wanted. Except there's men that take exception to that. To me leaving while I was in possession of their property. Where'd you boost, Tracy? Was it gold? More importantly, Who'd you boost it from? Well, Captain, I don't mean to. We may have a medical emergency here. This man appears to be in cardiac arrest. What? Tracy, you having a heart attack? You don't look like he's having a heart attack. <laughs> don't pay any attention to your machines, Doc. They'll fib to you. Heart's just fine. Better and fine. It runs a little hotter than usual, that's all. My God. What did he take? It's not just the heart muscle, it's everything. All the moving parts. That's what I took, Mel. That's what they want back. Tracy, you gonna tell me what in the chin show though you're talking about? Sure, sorry. Hearing this fast heartbeat here. Ah, uh, Simon, so come get your girl, man. Ain't your innards? They got scooped out. Replaced every bit. Who is a what cyborg? What you wanna go and do that for? For the money. Wait, oh, okay. They're paying me to transport what they stuck in. You're smuggling human organs? They're grown in a lab. The only way they can move them is in a person. Not sure why. Because the technology's not ready. Blasphemies are unapproved. Likely unstable. You're not just a carrier. You're an incubator. I was supposed to be at the drop spot two weeks ago, a clinic in Ariel. They were to open me up, take out the goods, and put my own workings back. So what happened? Better offer. Another buyer was willing to go three times the going rate. 
It's enough so I could get my folks off that rock they've been forced to live on. Set them up someplace better. That's really nice. <laughs> but you're better off for Winsaw. Yeah, I got myself in a little bit of a pickle, Sarge. The folks I was working for must have got wind of what I had planned. I uh, showed up. My new buyer was dead. And there were some men waiting for me. So you died and figured they'd stop looking for you. Yep. Oh, they sending warning shots, all right. <laughs> That bought them some time. If you can do it, watch me. Attention crew, this is the captain. Sit down and hang on to something. <laughs> In the words of Samuel Jackson from Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts. Ah, <laughs> oh, nah, man. Nah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> They're doing Simon dirty. So I, I can let go of you now. Oh, you can? Yeah. <laughs> All this hard banking on the gravity drive and actual gravity start working against each other tosses the lunch about a bit. Well, it's pretty wild. Well, you can thread a needle with this bird. He's the best. It's good to know. So are you and he, um... Sweeties? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> He's married to Zoe. Zoe got married. <laughs> 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 yeah, next you'll be telling me she smiles, has emotions. She must have been such a stone cold Xiong Sasha show during the war. I think the Sarge was even a little bit afraid of her. Now she's married. <laughs> but it's good. People making a life for each other. It's a little strange. There's a fence station right here, and our friends haven't made a transmission since they broke out. They ain't feds. I think they're probably impersonating as the so Alliance. What about you? Oh, you know, mostly just mostly. <laughs> Stuff like this. Just finding myself in one scrape or another, you know. I'm sorry to drag y'all into this. Oh. <laughs> Danger's pretty much our business. If you got put in a bad spot at all, Kaylee, I, I'd be real unhappy. Get ready for hard burn. They'd be crazy to follow us in here. Hi guy, Tracy. There is no grass to cut on this ship, but he found some grass to cut because he. <laughs> Little bit of a space chase scene here on a planet, a spaceship sequence. Firefly doing Millennium Falcon things. Sorry, Serenity. See if the storm's coming or going. Thousand five. I always try Options. to. Well, we're only as good as long as the roof holds out. Direct hit above us, ship's electrics will be fried. We'll have to climb out. Yeah, or get dug out. I always try to decipher how River speaks. Captain, there is another way. And her meaning? Um. That uh, one, I didn't understand too much. Put. I just want to see what's happening. It's our only choice. We let these men board, we're taking an awful chance. The boys ain't playing, Preacher. I'm aware of that. Tracy, man, come on. You might stow away one of the weapons. I don't know if you'll pull it on them. Put him up. That one was really close. Wash. Call the cops. Tell them we give up. 
No, thank you. There we go. Tracy, what are you doing? I said no. Those bastards up there ain't wanting to yank out this million credit meat and leave me bleeding. Now turn off that radio. The twerp's gonna get us killed. Oh, don't you move. Don't anybody move. All right, we need to power up. We need to run now. Put that thing down, boy. You have no idea. Oh, shut it, Shepard. I swear to your God, I will shoot you dead if you do not. Sarge, Zoe, what are you doing with this Bible thumper? Wash called the cops. But I'll kill him. I'll put a hole right through him. You mailed your ugly business to Zoe and me, Tracy. Cash on delivery. I'll go to hell before I watch you turn and bite us for the favor. Call him up. Tell him we'll meet him topside. No, thank you. He ain't got, he's got, Oi! I was about to say he ain't gonna shoot Mel. You shot me. Damn right. <laughs> That's enough shooting. Was? Ow. Everybody calm down. Kaylee, get out of there! You're a rabbit, Mel! All right, that's it. Kaylee is not going to date him. That's good. <laughs> you know, Kaylee, I need you to fly me out of here. Can we take this shuttle and just go? I ain't going anywhere with you. Nobody's going anywhere, Private. Well, Captain, what is going on? Don't make me. As far as I can see, no one's made you do anything. You brought this on yourself. Got in over your head with those stone cold gut runners. Then you panicked. All mess down on all of us. That ain't what happened. Oh, yes, that's what happened. I started to think that trail of bodies Womack was talking about. I'm thinking some of that trail was left by you. And you ain't left a trail of bodies work you do. Because your rep speaks elsewise. We're bodies of people helping me out. And you're helping out lots. Because I needed a chest wound. That can be seen, too. You think I'm stupid? In every way possible. Do you know why I picked you and Zoe? Because you're saps. You repping out as stone killers, but I still remember the old Sarge with his stories and his homilies and glory and honor. Maybe you should have listened. Yo, what are you now? What are we now, Mal? You hear that quiet? Means the call's already been made. Well, that call, that call means you just murdered me. Damn. Oh, son. Murder yourself. I just carried the bullet a while. <laughs> well, now. I haven't shot too many times to be scared by a gun, boy. Well, oh, Mac. I think I broke your junk. Little problems during shipping. <laughs> Product was damaged in shipping. <laughs> Don't I have to tell you folk the kind of trouble you're in. Wet wear smuggling, resisting fleeing an officer of the law. Searching the ship will come up with another few felonies. You won't be searching the ship, Womack. That's so? It is. You won't be taking us in, nor the boy who's dying in here. I'm authorized to kill as I like. Shepard's notwithstanding. Why is it you didn't call in for backup? There's a fed station 80 miles from where you're standing. Broad feds. You got your command stripes at the Silverhold colonies. Puts you about eight sectors away from your jurisdiction. Since you're running this job on the side, you took pains to keep your presence here secret. I don't imagine it would bother anyone if we laid your bodies to rest at the bottom of one of these canyons. <laughs> Who's outnumbered now? <laughs> ah, that makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> hey, leave the hat, man. Clearly, Mao and his crew went to the Obi Wan school <laughs> of high ground right there. <laughs> that was the plan. That was uh, that was a good plan. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you weren't that far off about me being stupid. I. I never could get my life working right. Not once after the war. <laughs> Kaylee, um, I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't. Sorry. Right here. <laughs> well, um, help, help him out. That stupid message of mine, and 
I was trying to play you guys. And now <laughs> you'll you'll do it. You'll you'll get me home. Yeah. You know the old saying. <laughs> when you can't run, you crawl. And when you can't crawl, you, when you can't do that. Moments is really good. Find someone to carry you. Oh, get him to the doctor. Get Simon to help him. Why? You know, it's funny. We went to the war never looking to come back, but it's the real world. I couldn't survive. You two carried me through that war. And now I need you to carry me just a little bit further. If you can. At least his message wasn't for nothing. It makes sense with him going back home. Tell my folks I wanted to do right by them and that I'm at peace and all. Is it because he has no organs or his organs are different that Simon couldn't help him? When you can't run anymore, you crawl. And when you can't do that, well, yeah, you know the rest. I like that final shot with Mel. And um, I actually enjoyed that episode. I felt like it was a heartfelt episode. And... Um, the guy that played Tracy, I can't remember his name, like the actor's name. Um, he did a fantastic job, uh, especially in the, with the tone of his voice, really, really hits home with those heartfelt scenes, especially the speech at the end. And as he was obviously bleeding out and dying, that's what I think he really delivered. Um, but obviously he's done, um, I think this episode speaks to, uh, I think Mao and Zoe mainly, um, in terms of obviously their past has come back, not to haunt them, but it's caught up with them a little bit with this guy asking for their help because of the war. But I think it speaks volume as well to um, sort of different characters um, from the independence um, and other like individuals in the independence, um, what sort of purpose they had after the war. Um, and obviously Mao and Zoe, they found their purpose with the Firefly, helping others still, doing their missions, having this crew, having this family. Um, whereas I guess uh, Tracy sort of had no direction in life after that. And, you know, he got caught with the wrong people. And obviously he's sort of, I think, sold his body um, with the way he sort of um, took out his organs, implanted others into him, I think, to like basically I guess, ship them from memory. Um, I was a bit confused on that part, but I don't think that was the main, um, theme or the main selling point of this episode. Obviously, we still had, um, the Kaylee Simon situation, and that was teased a little bit, um, with, um, you know, potentially Kaylee liking Tracy a little bit, but with the way things panned out, um, as we know, um, Simon and Kaylee sort of maybe on the mend at the end. But um, I think I need you guys in the comment section to help me understand this episode a little bit better. But I really enjoyed the war uh, flashbacks in this episode. I enjoyed sort of seeing the different um, sort of space station and marketplace. But I think this episode mainly, I think, tried to hone in uh, that situation post-war um, in terms of Mal and Zoe, um, you know, finding a greater purpose in life. You know, Zoe getting, re uh, not remarried, Zoe getting married. Um, and having a sense of direction after the war, whereas certain individuals like Tracy, um, you know, gets caught up with the wrong people, starts to try sell off, um, you know, himself, um, and gets caught up with different buyers, different people, um, in order to save his family. But obviously, um, it doesn't help out with those individuals and chasing him. And obviously, I think impersonating the Alliance or like being fraud feds, um, and, yeah, um, I think I'd like to understand this episode a little bit more, but it, like in terms of a heartfelt episode, yet again, Firefly smashes it with the character interactions, um, the dialogue, and sort of bringing in a character from Zoe and Mal's past, um, and sort of um, exploring Zoe and Mal's characters a bit more right there, and 
yeah, I really enjoyed that episode yet again. Not the best at Fly Fi episode, but another solid episode. Like, what can I say? This show has been solid throughout. There isn't an out and right episode I can say, oh, that's filler. Because every episode I find enjoyment in, and every episode I find something to pick out in terms of character interaction and dialogue, and it's great stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to the message episode 12 of Firefly. We have two more to go, and hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction. As always, it's been your boy Lee Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.